what is up boys and girls you know who it is by now i hope you do if you don't go watch some other videos then you'll know who i am we're gonna watch a lovely little pov demo this time we are taking a look at zewu's immortal game that is the opener of team vitality versus complexity from this major challenger stage where zewu yay did not die um this round looks like it's going to be a little bit boring from zero's point of view so we're going to speed through some of this because obviously complexity are going for a bit of an apps pop and uh, if zero is going to get involved in this one it's going to be late rounds so it's actually a 3v3 retake here complexity have taken the site a good decent sell from vitality uh, a b rush with glocks is like actually pretty dangerous on the pistol so they go for 3b early knowing that if the retake comes in there's a good chance it's going to be like a 3v3 and there is no kit on any of the players currently doesn't mean there isn't one on the site right what are we going to see here uh complexity have quite a strong setup this is kind of tough to break Oh, but Apex hitting that shot means this is very complexity favored now this round. Good flash from Zewu. Mini pit, blind to heck. And yeah, good solid retake from the boys in Vitality. Um, not much to write home about there. It was a decent apps pop from complexity. Got themselves in the 3v3. Um, yeah, just good utility usage from Vitality, honestly. And Apex getting that first kill nice and clean was very, very vital. That makes it completely swings the, the round basically there. So, what are we going to see? Zeru is uh, normally playing towards A in general. It's Masuta and Apex are the B players. Uh, Zeru is playing towards A along with Magisk and Dupree. Uh, Magisk is the pit player. Dupree is normally like the kind of sight guy. And Zeru will tend to play um, towards mid slash long, be a bit of a rotator. Um, obviously, maybe something a little bit different here. The two apps set up. Yeah, three apps. See who's going to play close so you can support that setup in apps. Uh, not much to write home about from complexity, although they did just make noise mid, so that tells Vitality that there are at least people. Oh, wow, floppy. Really, really nice there. Wow, that was surprising. Um, because they heard the noise there, so Vitality must have known. Didn't see it from Magus or Dupree's VOP. POV, sorry, but... Uh, Apex with the mid flank. Yeah, Z, we just catch his floppy looking the wrong way. And now this is uh, not durable for Junior. So, yeah, a bit of an interesting one there. Um, Apex with just a disrespect push down banana. Obviously, kind of saves that round for Vitality. But it was weird that they got caught off in apps by floppy when they'd heard some complexity kind of making some noise jumping around apps. But I guess maybe they were kind of focused on the app's jump up rather than the just walk through the stairs. So, but still, I feel like you should have been on your toes a bit more. Probably shouldn't have been caught out by that one. No dramas, though. Nothing too special to write home about thus far. You know, Zewu doing his ting. Very, very solid player. Very, very fundamentally sound. And just on a deagle round for complexity, so probably not too much to write home about here. Probably just hang around in mid and look for picks, to be honest. Hang around bottom banana, look the banana, banana. Yeah, what the hell are those pumpkins, by the way? Like, what the hell are they doing? Like, I don't understand. Like, that that shit should not be on the map in a major. Like, that was really weird. I think it's gone now, but it seemed to be in the start. Um, I'm not talking too much about this because... Are they footballs? What the fuck are they? They look like pumpkins. Are they footballs? Are they volleyballs? What the hell are they? But that clutter should not be on a map in the major. Like, I don't know what the hell happened there. Anyway. Yeah, didn't talk too much about that round because it was just like an eco. You know, no point. Yeah, what are they? They're like footballs or some shit. I don't know. Weird. Footballs, volleyballs, something like that. Uh, little mid at that, uh, Molly drops near the kind of jump up point for us. See, he misses his jump, lol. Oh my god, he misses his jump again. He's absolutely flubbing this shit. So, Complexity seem to be, like, pretty keen on taking apps control. Um, they're putting, they put a decent amount of focus these first few rounds on kind of getting at least some sort of contest towards apps. Some teams will not really utilize apps that much. Um, yep, using this setup in mid. Zeru will hold the boiler walk out. Dupree will hold the actual mid. Oh, yeah, they're going to come out brackets here. Zeru gets one frag on floppy clean. Yeah, that's probably the round. Oh, Dupree getting absolutely rinsed. Oh, my God. Okay, the utility usage is really good from complexity there, actually. Angrim wrecks Masuta towards short. 
So really nice uh, utility usage from complexity, and they really should be closing this round out. Dupree on one HP, Zero pretty low, Apex miles away. So this should be a complexity round here. Um, very, very tough for Vitality to do anything here. Dupree is kind of on his lonesome in pit here. Um, because Zeewoo's just got so much he needs to worry about. Yeah, like he needs to worry about the arch flank. Not the right call to go back to B. It's a gamble. You've you kind of got to do it. I would just save the guns here. Like there's there's now happening here. Dupree's going to get flanked. Yeah, Dupree gets flanked. Do the smoke. And this should just be a save. Apex already looks like he's going for the save. Yeah, Zeewoo's backing away now. So, yep, this one should just be... Oh, he's actually looking for an exit. I would probably just get out of dodge there, Zeewoo, mate. Like, you haven't got a huge amount of cash in the bank. It's not really that vital to get guns out of complexity's hands at this point. Oh, Grim finds Apex. That's actually pretty big. It means the uh, the buy for Vitality is going to be just a smidge more costly. Zeewoo's going to drop that in for, I assume... Yep. Will he pick up an orb? Mm, yeah, he will. Okay. Obviously, Inferno CT side and AWP is a lot easier than T side. T side Inferno is kind of one of the roughest halves to try and AWP on. Um, which is, I mean, yeah, just the way the map works. Right, you... Oh, not a usual setup, actually. 3B early, obviously expecting something a bit pacier, maybe, from Complexity. Maybe trying to abuse... Hmm, don't know. Just looks like Dupree chucked his uh, utility down early. And then it's rotated away. It's not bad because it means the B players um, can keep a hold a lot of their utility. And, like, you can lock B out pretty hard with utility if you get to hold it until later in the round. If you get to a minute and you've still got, like, both your mollies and both your smokes, uh, irrelevant because uh, Masuta's absolutely wrecked that bush. So, oh, good shot from Zewu. Sorry that we sped through that. Honestly, and not having to do too much special here so far, Zewu. I'm just playing fundamentally sound Counter-Strike. Uh, Complexity not offered an awful lot except for the one round where they won, which was some really nice utility usage at the top of mid. Absolutely broke apart that setup. Uh, early Zewu B, probably just to throw this flash. These two flashes. Oh, he's actually going to go and support them. Okay. Oh, wow, they're going to be really aggressive on Banana here. Okay, I like this change up from Vitality, like really getting aggressive. Um, they're going to probably leave Zewu here and then rotate the other two. Yeah, this is not too uncommon. Set your AWPer up on Banana because it's almost a guaranteed one and done. And even if it's not, the AWPer can fall back and like take several angles. Uh, it looks like Zewu's probably not going to get involved in the rest of this round because, yeah, Complexity are going to go towards A and, yeah, they just kind of get wrecked. So again, not too much special from Zeru there. Just doing his thing. I like the switch up from Vitality though to go for a more aggressive banana setup. Right, very standard round now from Vitality. They know Complexity are going to be on a bad buy. Complexity going for pretty much their standard sort of default. Getting someone, yeah, wrecked in apps. May Magus is just absolutely mowing them all down. Uh, yeah, not much to write home about again here. We'll probably just speed through this one. I don't think Zeewoo's going to get involved in the round at all. And Complexity are just saving the Eagles in armor. <laughs> yeah, it has to be a timeout for Complexity. They have had absolutely no joy. Um, looking a little bit one-dimensional on their offense, got to be honest. Not really much joy being found at all, really. Uh, floppy with those two openers and apps one round, and they didn't even win it. Nade down middle from Zeru, not going to get too much done. And yeah, we're falling back into a pretty standard setup. In general, um, I like the just the switches of the setups, like going more aggressive apps. Like Vitality have shown a lot of different looks on their CT side, made themselves very hard to read in terms of setup. And I think, you know, Complexity's very one-dimensional approach is, is just not going to cut it, to be honest. So four towards A, this A attack is just not going to have any joy, I don't think. Um, well, I don't just think I know. I know Complexity don't get any more rounds. Ooh, Zero thought about the repeat there. Decided against it, probably for the best. In a man advantage situation, no need to go for anything fancy. 
And yeah, the bomb is going back towards B, so Zero is probably not going to get involved in this round unless it's on a retake. Here we go. Nah, Apex is just going to mow these boys down. Right. Speed. Go on, Zero. Give us a mid peak. Oh, smoke. Okay. Another pistol uh, armor type buy, so we'll kind of skitter go through this because... Okay, they are going to group up for a mid play. Oh, nice uh, timing on Zewu there, knowing that he needed to get out of dodge. Um, that's some good intuition, suspecting that there's a lot top mid there. Probably didn't hear too much noise on B slash banana, so uh, I think they suspect this is a very A-heavy pie. Only Fang ready, holding bottom banana. Now they're going to group up with a minute left. Probably take brackets and try and go from there. We've got Floppy sneaking through apps. Floppy is kind of the apps defaulter for complexity. Still hard to get much done here. Um, I'm surprised that Apex is where he is. It feels like he doesn't... I guess they're worried about the arch wrap, which is why they're kind of set up like this, but... Uh... Ah, uh, Megas Kinney GT, JT, yeah, it's kind of over already. Yeah. Not really much for Zebu to be doing uh, in the back half of this half. Like, he, he's basically not really seen anyone. <laughs> um, 3B lean again, uh, probably... Oh, are they just going to go for a straight up? No, I wondered if they were going for a straight up peak. Nope, they're just trying to keep complexity guessing, though. Moving the AWP around, changing the setups once again. It feels like uh, Apex has a pretty good read on what's going on here because he's kind of put the setups where they need to be like pretty much every round. But this is obviously a bit of a lurk smoke in the sense that you can crawl through uh, and, and kind of get through that wood stack at the top of uh, Banana. It used to be called Car. I'm just going to call it Car. Um, but that's a pretty common smoke to just allow someone to... Oh, just taking the fight there. Masuta Rex them both. Flash to slow him down. And yeah already kind of a disaster here for complexity they're just getting no joy man they really are just getting no joy just feels very flat this t side from complexity like the best round they had was when floppy got like aggro in apps and like got up in vitality's face apart from that complexity of really yeah it's been very pedestrian this t side no real changes in pace lacking ideas really in general it looks like so we're going to speed through. This is going to be a B here. Zewu. Oh, might get involved now. Oh, he got involved with a nice little flash for his bodies. And yeah, the flank has already come in from Dupree. And yeah, this round is uh, done so as heck. So, uh, probably the the least exciting Deathless game I've ever seen. Zewu pretty much has not seen anybody for the last, like, five rounds. Uh, yeah, fun demo of you guys. Oh, the mid-peak. Here it is, boys. Late on in the half, but here it is. A mid-peak. Yeah, baby. Uh, complexity. A very heavy apps lean here. I think they're hoping um, possibly to catch. Okay, they're just going to go for a straightforward apps pop. Not a too uncommon of around Apex. Completely disrespects pushing down mid. Wow, yeah. This is... Um... Complexity are getting rolled here, man. Apex just full disrespect pushing down banana. <laughs> See, we murders a chicken because he's bored. He hasn't seen anyone in ages. Oh, yeah, and nothing again for... Oh, little shoulder peek there. Not bad. See, he's keeping an eye on where Fang is. Probably going to let... Yeah, Magus get the kill. So nice little bit of team play there. Um, Zewu just taking the attention of Fang so that Magus can swing out and get the shot in the back. Fang, you know, uh, he, ha he either has to have his head on a swivel or just focus on one angle. He focuses on the Zewu angle. Nothing Fang can do there at all, obviously. Just um, just a little, a nice little bit of basic counter strike there from Zewu uh, and, and Magus. Uh, pretty standard setup again. Uh, actually, no, we've got um, Dupree heading over to Banana early, maybe to chuck a bit of utility. Complexity with a 4-1 split. Pretty much everyone in Banana. Apex pretty disrespectful, playing so close to top Banana on his own there. Now he falls back where Misuta can actually support him, and the rotation's coming in from Dupree. 
Speed through. Mm, okay, interesting for complexity to fall back when they've taken so much space. I'm not sure I agree with that. I don't really see what you've gained there. Um, you haven't even drained that much utility, quite frankly. Maybe giving floppy time to work over towards apps. I'm not sure I agree with what complexity just did there. They took so much space uh, towards B and then just didn't use it, just gave it all back. Don't think that's a smart call. Although they have found the gap, actually. They've done really well to find the gap. So this, if we pause here, this looks like it should be around for complexity. They're about to four-man crunch that B site. Vitality have made a good read in having 3B. And if we have a quick look at Dupree, I suspect, yeah, he's watching for this. So, But this is probably complexity's best chance at a round. I think Floppy needs to wait for the hit to come in and then kill a rotator, and that would probably be the round for complexity. So let's see how this falls apart, actually. I wonder if Floppy's going to get a bit too aggro. Or, mm, okay, a little bit aggro there. Uh, Dupree gets the first kill on Grim, so yeah, that's the attack is now kind of going to fall apart because this is pretty readable now that it's a lurker in apps and it was an attempted B-crunch. And complexity kind of just stall out. Uh, Floppy, I think, needed to probably be braver in trying to get a kill. Yeah, and now they're just going to fall apart, yeah. A lack of decisiveness and bravery from complexity as well. Just not like uh, someone needed to have some testicles there and make vitality uncomfortable. This is re way too easy. There's no pace to anything complexity are doing. It's so pedestrian. They look a bit lost, to be honest with you. Again, Zebu basically doesn't see anybody all round. Uh, all heart. Uh, yeah, all round. No, that is what I meant. Oh, go on. Go on. Get some ADR down. Yes. Munch that nade onto Fang. Love it. So, complexity, just everyone. Uh, obviously, again, their standard sort of like four brackets. Fang towards B. They're just getting torn apart. Um, at least it was kind of a little bit of a faster approach. But, yeah, it's just been picked apart again. And, uh, yeah, another round where Zimu don't see anyone, really. You know? Oh, he gets two kills. Not bad. Not bad. You know, it's all right. But, again, Zimu didn't have to do anything spectacular there. Oh, what have I done? No. Yeah, there we go. Why is... Oh, okay. Ooh, nice flash. Pistolos for complexity. Um, you know, they've got one top banana early who's absolutely sprinting it back. Yeah, Vitality are going to have heard that and they're going to push now. Yeah, Apex is going to disrespect you. He's going to go all the way down banana, I reckon, pretty quick. I think Apex is going to read this one like a book. No, oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, interesting. He decides to rotate standard. Maybe he feels like complexity would finally punish this. Complexity all grouped in brackets. Look like they... Yeah, going through that smoke with no flash is uh, not the play, boys. Yeah, that's not doing anything. And it's another dead round. NACS, boys. Keck W. Have complexity taken a time out either? I don't think they have. I feel like just take your time out, boys. Like, give yourselves a break. Like, just reset a little bit. Like, I, I don't know, man. Feels like a bit of full tilt here. Uh, and, yeah, just getting disrespected. Megas can do pre both peak second mid. Complexity again down before the round even starts. Zewu is probably not going to see anyone this round again. Oh, he might. He might. Unless, uh... yeah, no, Dupree gets the kill. A 14-1 half. That was a shit side from Complexity. Um, uh, yes, Vitality obviously play well and is strong on the defense, but Complexity really did not do anything to put Vitality under very much pressure. A pistol win here for Vitality, which we obviously know they get. And uh, yeah, the game is done. I mean, the game's done at 14-1 anyway. Like, you're not coming back from this. Um, yeah, this push is going to get torn apart by Apex. Yeah, Apex has heard all of this. Oh, wow. They're just going to get B for free here. Yep, Apex. Oh, wow. Apex actually doesn't get anything done. So this is a very winnable round for complexity here. I think they're a bit dizzy. I don't think they know exactly what's going on here. Yeah, they are a little bit dizzy. They're not quite sure how to react to this situation. So they're going to 2-2 it, which is probably what I would have done. Bit slow. It's too slow. Whoever... Uh... Who was seven? Floppy. Yeah, Floppy was, I think, a bit too slow to get back to eight of his teammate. They needed to decide to split 2-2 quicker, uh, and they didn't. They were a bit dizzy. 
uh, like not the worst thing in the world, but I think uh, a more decisive in-game leader probably figures that out a little bit quicker. Oh, zero in a clutch though. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, Grim not looking at anything. Gr did no kit? No kit? Because Grim looked like he was fucking speeding there. Probably could have taken a bit more time if there was a kit. Don't know if there was or wasn't. If there was, bit of a mistake. Think Grim should take a little bit more time to clear a few more angles. And, uh, yeah, what are we going to see here? I'd just be like, rush B, sucker. I would just full disrespect on a B rush. It's just skirted her through this. Yeah, the round's already over, pretty much. Uh, Vitality just pumping the brakes a little bit, waiting to see if Complexity get their push slash peak on for some info, take some space. Yeah, Complexity not really doing anything. Um... Got to do something at this point in the round. Otherwise, you're going to lose. Yeah, this has been such an uninspired uh, map from Complexity. Uh, basically, look looked like a deer in the headlights for about 90% of this map. Um, oh, JT, though. Go on. Making something of the round, at least. Uh, Junior on the rotate with the scout. I mean, it's done. But, you know, it could be less winnable for Complexity, maybe. And Zebu's probably not going to see another man this yeah, I don't think he's gonna don't think he's gonna get to see anyone. So wow, that was the most unspectacular deathless POV you could probably have asked for. Uh, unsurprisingly going deathless, he didn't see complexity for about there were probably like 50% at least of those CT rounds where Zeru did not see a player from complexity. So unsurprisingly, that's kind of what happens. And uh yeah, most rounds survive. That's what Zeru gets because yeah, he didn't have really much of a chance to contribute a lot of those CT rounds. Um, obviously, Zero is one of the best players in the world, and so his decision-making is virtually flawless. He pretty much played all of those rounds exactly how he should, which is part of the reason he went deathless. But also, what an uninspired T half from Complexity, man. Like, very little in the way of changes of pace. Had about three rounds. There was about three different looks there. Like, all of the rounds looked very similar. You know, they had that sort of, like, 4-1 where Fang holds, and then they go 5... 4-1, I mean, where Fang holds bottom B, and then they go 5 into brackets and try and explode. Uh, they had that apps pop, and then they had their sort of 1-3-1 default, where floppy defaults apps, someone defaults banana, and 3 default mid. Not enough of different looks, honestly, from complexity. Too simplistic and vitality. So many different looks that we saw there, like... 3B early with Zeru, 3B early with Dupree, pushing apps, playing more passive apps. A lot of different setups from Vitality, and I think that shows a bit of the gulf between EU and NA. I think that is one of the areas where there is the biggest gap, is NA teams play very simple in general Counter-Strike, and EU teams have a lot more to their playbook and a lot more depth. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. Wasn't the most inspiring, but hey, Zeru went deathless. I gotta do it. Peace and love, guys. See you for the next one.